You're listening to the Electronic Media Collective Podcast Network. Yeah, it's a mouthful. For more great shows like the one you're about to enjoy, visit electronicmediacollective.com. And now, our feature presentation. Welcome to Comics with My Kids, the official podcast for the comicscornerbox.blogspot.com. I'm your host, Matt D. And with me today is... Melody D. Wow, you're right in there, baby. Okay. So today, Melody, what book are we talking about? Hilda and the Black Hound. All right. And who wrote Hilda and the Black Hound? Same as all the other Hilda books. Which some people may have just heard this one, so I'm going to say it again. Luke Pearson made the book. It's Hilda and the Black Hound, and it's Flying Eye Books. Great. Awesome. All right, so how does the book start off, Melody? So, I'm going to go to the first page. On the first page here, which is pretty funny, is that the hound is showing one picture where it's looking at the city while it's raining, and then it looks with a picture with its eyes, and then it strikes lightning, and it's gone, gone, gone. Gotcha. And What's Hilda the, hey. heard him, so then what the funny part is, on the next page... Wait a second, Mel. Who, who, her mom opens up the curtains and says, Hilda, and she thinks it's a big monster, but no, it's just her mom. And then what, what the funny you? part is, she says, have you seen the kettle, which is a teapot? In case anybody doesn't know what a kennel means. Gotcha. So what city was it looking down at? It was looking down at Trollberg. Trollberg City. Not even close to where she lives. Where does Hilda live? Well, she now lives there, but she used to live where a forest was. Near a forest. Well, what happened? How did she... How, how, she's in Trollberg now. Because her mom made her move there because um, she thought that just making friends with animals was um, not good, okay. which I think is okay. Yeah, I think it's okay, too, but evidently she wanted her to make, have other people friends. So she yeah, did. so, and when she first came there in the movies, it showed people throwing at a bird, which I didn't read the book that I'm supposed to read before this, which is Hilda and the Bird Parade. Okay. So, in other words, you're telling me that we're, we're kind of doing these out of order, huh? But yeah. That's okay, right? Cause it's yep, all, it's but all... I read the first two books I had to read before it. At least that happened. Yeah, because it's, it's all comics, so you can read them in any order, really. Yeah. Right. So then, um, after Hill's mom said, have you seen the kill? And then Hill says, you've lost the kill. <laughs> and she says, it's okay, I can just use a pot. And after she says that, he said, I couldn't go outside today. And then she said, oh, yes, I did, didn't I? Besides, it's not like you can camp for real anywhere around here anyway. And so um, now it shows someone part of the um, thing she's going to come into, which I can't remember the name of it. What do you mean? In the Sparrow Scouts? Yeah, in the Sparrow Scouts. She's going to come into the Sparrow Scouts, which it shows David, who is a Sparrow Scout, putting um, mail in people's things because he has mail from Sparrow Scouts. And one paper flew out of his back and onto the window, which says, Join the first Trollberg mm, Sparrow Scouts. Which Hilda sees, and then which her, Hilda's mom sees. And then after that, they go there, which when they come back, which first... Wait, where do they go? They go to a Sparrow Scouts meeting? Yeah, and what I think is funny, on the next page after she gets introduced there, the Sparrow Scout leader says, the rest of you badge workers, but first let's play a, a, a game. Yeah, Stingba, Stingba. What I think is funny, which is um, way back over here, before they go to camp, is that she says, besides, this map's not that, this map's not that big, 
And then she unrolls it, and it's really, 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 really big. Wow. It's like takes up the entire floor of the uh, scouts. Uh... Nope, but it takes up most of it. No. So it needs to have something to work out for a while. Gotcha. At the sports place club thingy. And so, like I was saying, let's get back to the book. All right, so then. So they all were playing games, and Hilda was having too much fun. Uh, so does Hilda like being a Sparrow Scout? Yep. Okay. And she likes it so much that she's been doing a lot of stuff. So how does the Black Hound come in? So that's way back if you want to know. Microphone, please. The first way Hilda finds it is... Let me get to the page. first way she gets to it is that she's in camp all the way in Sparrow Scouts, oh. which... She comes across the hound because she's supposed to be up. Well, she's not supposed to be up, and she is because she got friend Ton Tu, which was the name of the house spirit, her friend, which comes in later, which talks about the hound, which is actually some house spirit's dog, which is named Jelly Bean, which I think is pretty funny because it said he was just a little, 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 little puppy, which he turned out to be a gigantic hound, which is a type of dog. Yeah, nice. So and she so makes the first with- thing that Hilda finds is the hound, and then Hilda, the, the Sparrow Scout found Hilda and said, Hilda. She said that she had to go back to her tent instantly because she's supposed to be asleep when she's up and found the hound and also was going with food for Taunt too. which she didn't know why she had food. She probably just thought that she was going to leave camp and find her way home because she was worried when she was coming that the big black hound would come and get her or somebody else. Ooh, that's scary. Yep. So is the is the black hound a bad guy then? Uh, yes, it's no. Yes. Because in the back, he turns out to be the nicest one. Oh. And in this one, he ate eats three people, which is funny. He eats people. He ate three alive people. Dad. Why? Why did he eat people? Because he was on the bad side. Because he never found his friend. Because he got separated from his friend. But I can tell you a little bit about the story or more about it. Which I can tell you some of the story right now if I just get to the page. When she meets another house spirit. Which I think we come across, I came across another funny spot. When Hill was looking for Tantu and then he found him laying on a tree and then came in the leaves and shouted, Tantu! And it woke him up and he fell off the tree on his back. Oh my. Which was pretty funny. So, what's your favorite part of the book, then? What I think is pretty cool is that she finds out where everything is, and she finds out Frida's book that she was missing for quite a while. What do you mean she found everything? She found everything because she went into the Nessies, or Nessies, the weird word is... No. It's not in, well, it was a nest that she went into from Anisi, which was Taunt 2, because she went with Taunt 2. And so, since she got in there, she found everything that she needed to find, even her mom's kettle and her mouth, math work book. Oh, okay. And she found a picture of um, the other house spirit. And so... Since it was truly the other house, how the other house spirit's house, it came out that there was a picture that fell into one of the holes that had been in the house. And so Taunt too said, I told you there would already be someone here when she found the house spirit. And Hilda said, Hey, that's my clothes because it, it was munching on the clothes. And actually, they found out. Later on, that the hound had been bashing through other Nisi's nests, and everything that it's grabbed, it brings with it and trashes up the house, and it makes every single Nisi that's in a house get kicked 
out. Oh my goodness. For good. So that they never ever come back in, which I think's pretty mean. Well, does Hilda solve the problem then? Does it, does yep, and she solves the problem. Oh. So then later on. Does she do, does she do it safely and in, in, in a nice way or? Yeah, she does it in a nice, nice way. Oh, okay. Does she make friends with the black, the black hound then? Quieter? Yep. Okay. And, um, and so let's get back onto the book. So, um, Which I will get to the page I need to get to. And this is the funny, funny, funniest part. Because she comes across other Tontus and she figures out that all of them are called Tontus. Oh, they all share the same name? Yeah. And she kept on saying Tontu, Tontu, Tontu. And all different kinds of Tontus came to her. Asking them all kinds of questions. Cool. So, and so she was talking to them and one said... We don't talk to each other of to each other. Oh yeah? Why don't they talk to each other? I don't know. But what I think's funny is that she comes across different ones. What she finds is she finds a itty bitty baby one. And anyway, she meets a really tiny tattoo that talks to her. Oh yeah? Even though she was talking to other ones. And so, like I said, I would go back to the story, and here's a good place. They're at the Sparrow Scouts, and now this is a great time when Ton 2 comes in, because he was in his nest, and then he fell out where he was going to, and he, and Hilda said, Ton 2! And Ton 2 was like, we've got to get out of here, and then the black hound fell. Because he had been in his nest. Oh, wow. So then they were all in trouble. And he is really big. He's like 23 feet big. Wow, that's a big, that's a big dog. Well, sideways. Gotcha. But so Hilda, so Hilda saved the day? Yep, and Tansu said, it's kind of like a maze. What's kind of like a maze? Because they kept... Running through that, it looked like a maze. Or it was kind of like a maze because if you use your finger to trace it on the book, the hound, it kept falling. Ch- chased him through all the different Yep, nests. and okay. they went into her house, which the other house one said, actually, it's my house. And that's when we found out that it was Jelly Bean, which now I'll tell you the story of Jelly Bean and the Other House Spirit. Well, is that going to spoil the book? No, not really. So, he said that he was... He found him when... He, he found him lost and lonely when he was itty-bitty. And when he was little. And he, he always took care of him. So, when his... And he always kept him in a slipper where he would stay warm and... When his fi- parents found out about him, they took him far away, and he never knew why. And what I think's funny is that he said that he ate people, didn't he? And then he was whispering in his ear, and then he was like, bleep, bleep, and he reeled up all the people. Oh, so the people didn't get eaten, they were just... So I stomach. guess he sort of ate them. <laughs> What I think was funny. Cool. All right, Millie, so you've read this book and the other Hilda books. Which one do you like the best? I kind of like this one, which my other favorite one was Hilda and the Stone Forest. It, and you just hear this one, I can tell you one funny part about it, which was um, the bird in it, which was the re- lightning bird. He ate through a cereal box, and he said, can I eat all this? And then... Hell's mom was like, sure, and then he started munching on it, which I think that was a really funny part about that. Sometimes I like to think that I can make up my own funny parts in the books, like switch the books around or something like that, make it pretty well, fun. So is the black hound a monster then? Ish. It's kind of like a big, 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 big wolf. Oh. Because it is really, really, really big of a wolf. This book, how many, how 
how many stars would you give it out of, out of five? Um, out of five, five. Amelia, is there anything else you want to say about, uh... Nope, I think we're done. Okay. Well, folks, thanks for listening to, um, Comics with My Kids. I'm Matt D. I'm Matty D. 